Okay. You have a lot of people that, that do not have wisdom in their cipher. What is wisdom, God? Wise words, ways, and actions. What is wisdom you? Express them now. Express them now. What's wisdom you, God? Wisdom, wise, and civilized. That's all right. For me to become wise and civilized, I actually have to realize how I was able to get to that point. It's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen immediately. A lot of people want that instant gratification. Like right now, they actually have that. You see, we have all these uh, uh, devices. At one point, it wasn't none of that. How would you be able to get to that? You actually have to break bread. Don't go on the internet, okay, I want, I want my 120. And then you got it. Oh yeah, I'm God. How? How? How you gonna get to that point? You actually have to build. You actually have to get around. Break bread with other gods, man. Talk with them. Listen to them. You have to. Because if you're not, what's gonna actually happen? It's going over their head. Oh yeah, I know this, I know this, I know this. What do you really know? Because you ain't even listened to anything, man. So before I even had knowledge itself, when I used to hear them say, sometimes you have to shut the fuck up. Yo, why would you say? Because that's what they mean. If you ain't shutting the fuck up and listening, you ain't actually hearing what they're talking about. Even though I said, listen and hearing, listen and hear what I'm talking about so you can understand what I mean. That feeds God, but the reason why I ask that question because you see how everybody had a different understanding of wisdom. Now I'm going to tell you, I see wisdom as being a tool. Because when, a tool, because when utilized correctly, you won't have to tell nobody to shut up. Wisdom has a magnetic power, that's why wisdom born itself. So when you utilize that tool correctly, you don't tell nobody to shut up because they're going to be real attentive to what you're saying. You're going to have the attention of everybody that's paying attention. You see how this cipher just got bigger? Because the magnetic power of wisdom expresses itself by being the tool that it represents. That's why, exactly. That's why wisdom is the fundamental tool without the knowledge that allows that gives your wisdom that power. Your wisdom won't be the tool in which you're supposed to represent. That's why wisdom is the secondary factor to represent the truth that stands on your square. No, I'm Son God Allah. See, that's why it's knowledge and wisdom that helps us get what? That better understanding. But we already agreed that knowledge and understanding already have a relationship. Because it's one and the same, right? So if we know that, why is wisdom different? Or what's the difference? Wisdom has a relationship with it all. Absolutely. Because wisdom is the bridge. Absolutely. Wisdom is the tangibility of knowledge. Absolutely. That's why I said I describe wisdom as the tool that builds the relationship between the knowledge and understanding. Because if you don't have that wisdom, which is the magnetic power, you will never understand the relationship. But we also know that within each degree, there's every degree of mathematics because all of them stand in their own cipher, right? So I got a question, God, because I had a bill that I had with brothers in the last, and the last bill I had with brothers with brothers. And I hope I don't go through this right now because I'm I'm a monster from true living. Is wisdom secondary but most necessary? Mm. First of all, let me say this. Supreme mathematics is the order of the universe. Absolutely. And ain't nothing secondary about my wisdom. Mm. My wisdom is supreme. Right. Ain't nothing secondary about that. <laughs> Nothing. You sure? I'm perfect. Now you started your build by saying that the laws of the, the supreme mathematics is the laws of the universe. That's right. What's the second degree of your supreme mathematics? Wisdom. You just said there's nothing secondary about your wisdom. The supreme mathematics is talking about the original man and the original man only. I agree with you, God. But listen now, to listen, the God. question, God. Listen, God. Wisdom. My wisdom is supreme. Ain't nothing secondary to that. This it's to not question, secondary, God. God. This is my question. See, that goes back to the God build, the initial build when we first original. started. When you're doing the knowledge, it's not original, when you're it's not the first. Hold fast, God. Let's maintain order. God, this is what I'm asking you. We're dealing with order, God. So let's first maintain order. We first established that wisdom is a means of a tool in which we understand by representing our knowledge, correct? 
speaking, right? Speaking, right? So about speaking, right? Speaking, yes. Right. When you're okay. speaking, you're representing your knowledge, which is the secondary factor of a mathematical expression. So we go to the laws of mathematics oh, oh, with... Oh, what do you mean, Lord okay. have mercy, God? No, the question was, God, is wisdom secondary but most necessary? That was the expression. Wisdom meaning the mathematics or the world? The mathematics. No, he he, he took that to the to the well, queen. Each, each, each degree have their own foundation. Absolutely. So you got your knowledge, which is the foundation. Yes. You got your wisdom, which is another foundation. Absolutely. You got your understanding, which is another foundation. Not real hard. So that's like saying under a uh, three. Is what? Understanding. Absolutely. Four. Culture. So wisdom is secondary to what? Knowledge. It's number two. I, that, well, that's what we agree on. But that was the point, God. Okay, but it's number two. I be a law of mathematics. See. Peace, almighty. It's the reason why law gave us mathematics in the specific order that he gave it to us in. The simple fact because one needs the other order to be able to manifest itself. Absolutely. All right, it's not nothing that's secondary. One needs another order to be able to move on for you to be able to grow. The in order for me to be able to move, for you to be able to come to any form of understanding, guess what? You need something to bring forth that action. That's why the wisdom is next in line to bring forth the understanding which is going to show forth and prove what? Your culture, that you are free and have the power to be refined. Everything's in mathematical order for a reason, Lord. You know what I'm saying? It's not that it's secondary, third, or fourth. No, it's no, therefore. No, that's not that it's better than. Yeah. Not, that's not the, that's not, that's not. No, what no, let me finish the building, yeah. God. Let it's not that, you know what I'm saying? It's secondary work. That's the, per, that's the order for you to be able to move and grow within life. That's why it's there. What is knowledge without no wisdom? What is wisdom without no understanding? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure, they, they, all, they all have a mathematical order and perfect to be able to show forth and prove itself, Lord. You know what I'm saying? To try to say that it's secondary, no. It's most necessary, yes. Wisdom is most necessary, not secondary. You know in fact, because why? It's the only degree within mathematics that shows and proves what? Action. Order for anything to be able to manifest, you have to see it through wisdom, Lord. That's how you're going to get forth for understanding. So, secondary, no. Most necessary, indeed so. Lord. And that's peace, God. And I, I appreciate your build. But Please, I was Yeah, add on that. Peace, my name is Lord Watch Law. That's it. That's the rap, right? That's it. Next, 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 next. No, okay, okay, go, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Peace, Lord. If God spoke about the supreme mathematics, the living mathematics, they follow a natural order. Absolutely. You know, just like everything else on earth has to follow a natural order. Knowledge to born. So, wisdom is secondary to knowledge. Wisdom has the attracting power, whereas knowledge has the magnetic power. Knowledge, wisdom, born understanding, which is today's mathematics. Understand the cipher. Don't cut me off, Lord. That's, the, that's, that's not right in his act. <laughs> Understanding cipher is today's mathematics. Understand your cipher. A cipher represents what? You, first and foremost. Your 360 degrees of what? Now is wisdom understanding. Cipher also represents a person, place, or thing. Understand your cipher. Understand the cipher. Peace. Peace. So is it knowledge is first? Knowledge is first? Knowledge is the foundation. The original. Wisdom is second. So we can quote on that. Now I know what God said, like, you know, my, my, my wisdom is not secondary. Not How is it? But, it, but, it, but it's, it's, second, it's second in the order of our mathematics. It don't come before now. Is the earth secondary to the, the sun? The thing is, when we add prefixes and suffixes, it changes the, the origin or definition of the word sometimes. Is the earth you secondary the, the, to the sun? The, the word airy that you added on behind plan. second sun brings it to another order. You know, to say the order. So when you say second, you don't say behind knowledge, that's different. When you say secondary, you're trying to say that only way for it, only, the only place in the universe is second behind God. We, have, we can't say that. In order for God to be able to show forth and prove who He is, guess what? He needs that wisdom. Okay. You said was, well, That's why great. I said second day before that wisdom. Way, God. But let me take this a step further, God. Let me take this a step further. Everything that we do because from I noticed that everybody free. always, when we deal with the no, science of wisdom, they always say the no, black woman. No, you say a lot of but, but. Let me say some. Let me say something. You notice that in our flag, we got knowledge and wisdom at a cipher. You don't have knowledge without wisdom. Matter of fact, the cipher is not complete unless there's wisdom. Why? 
because it completes a whole. It brings about understanding. It brings about a, a, a complete cipher of understanding. Check it out. We all saying we all basically saying the same thing. Mm. Wisdom is the manifestation of that knowledge, Absolutely. and wisdom is the gap. That bring or the bridge that brings you to the understanding. That's but the cream of the crop is when there. you look at your flag, you see it tells you when when we speak, we say you got you got 120. You learn 120. Why do we say that? Because wisdom is all part of that. Without wisdom, you ain't got nothing. That's why I always say. That's why when you read the scriptures and everything, it says above all get wisdom. You can have knowledge, but if you ain't got wisdom, you ain't gonna get no understanding. Because you cannot cross that bridge without that wisdom. You know that 139,685,000 square miles of the earth is what? What is it? It's water. And that completes the cycle. There's earth and water bring about a cycle. The earth is not complete without water. You understand? Just land, you will have a gap. You got to fill the gap. When you fill the gap, you add the wisdom. Now you make your cipher complete. That's the only way you're going to understand it. If you don't have wisdom, you won't understand it. You understand? Wait a minute. You understand. 360 <laughs> degrees of knowledge and wisdom, land and water, bring about the earth, all the cipher and everything else you got. As a matter of fact, when we manifested ourselves in a physical form, did we not have to make woman in order to reproduce ourselves? Before that, there was asexual reproduction. Now we got what? Physical reproduction, because we had to make that woman once we became physical being. Before that, the knowledge was all by itself. And said, what? It's not good. I'm going to bring about some understanding. But I had to bring about that wisdom to bring about that understanding. Now it's complete. You understand? Knowledge by itself is just sitting there. Sitting there. Sitting there. It's like you got knowledge and you ain't got no wisdom. So what good is it? You can't even manifest yourself. People is waiting for you to manifest yourself. They see your ways and actions when your wisdom is what? Boom. Now they see what you all about. The knowledge by itself is just dormant, my man. Wisdom is what brings about the completion. Again, when you look at the planet that you live on, it has land and what water. You know the three fourths of it is covered by water? You know why? Because that knowledge is hidden. Only those that can pass the cipher and get through that wisdom can come to the understanding. That's why I say you must be what? Born. That's why I say you got to what? Swim. What you got to swim? Through that what? Wisdom. Through that wisdom. First the wisdom got to be born, then you got to swim through that wisdom to get to the what? Other side. When you get to the other side, your understanding is born. Then you complete. When you complete, then you see who you really are. Until you complete yourself, then you live in the third degree in the one to 14, which is why our people suffer, because they live in a half a man, half original existence, because they're not complete. Remember, the best part is kept for who? The original man, not the half original. Our people are suffering because they live a half original existence. Why? Because they don't have knowledge, nor do they have wisdom. Or they may have knowledge with no wisdom. When they get knowledge and wisdom, it become complete. And that best part that was reserved for you become yours. That's how you make it all understood. You understand? So wisdom is necessary. Why is it necessary? Because it makes you become whole. When you look up in the, when you look at your flag, you see the what? The sun and the what? Moon. That's your wisdom. Without the moon, your, your flag is incomplete. The universe tell you that they got to be wisdom. Man, woman, child, sun, moon, star, knowledge, wisdom on everything. Those are the mathematics. If you understand your mathematics, your mathematics will show you the way. It's right in front of your face. Most people are blind, deaf, and dumb because they, they, they don't see it. Therefore, they live half of their capability. That's why you always, that's why you hear them say, we only use part of our brain. When you start using all of your brain and you make your cipher complete, then you start saying, I rounded off that cipher. Now I see. I'm the knowledge of the cipher. And I'll enlighten it tell you that. The knowledge of the cipher is to what? Enlighten you. To enlighten you so you will start to see that God is right there with you. Not somewhere else, but you got to be complete. So without wisdom, you ain't got nothing. 
which just validate the statement. So we all saying the same thing. This is the cipher the right here. But and anybody standing in it. this is the knowledge of that cipher. You understand? When you Absolutely. stand here, you don't know. if you don't got knowledge of the cipher, you're lost. It's like, it's like you become it's like you become half a moon. You know when you look up in the sky and you see the moon? You see a quarter moon, you see half a moon, you see three quarters of moon, then you see a full moon. The full moon is when you're born, when the knowledge is what born, when the wisdom is born. That's the full moon, and you think about that completion in yourself. I'm not talking about somebody else, I'm talking about completion in you. Because you got to become complete in order to be original. You could say you're original, but to be complete is when you born that wisdom and you bring about a complete cipher in yourself. Absolutely. Land and water. Complete to what? Cipher. That's your flag. Absolutely. Without it, you incomplete. And that's why our people suffer. Because they incomplete. That's why the scriptures say, ye must be what? You got to be born. And the only way you're going to be born is going through the what? Wisdom. The wisdom going to complete you and bring you to the other side. When you go to the other side, now you got to understand it because you completed everything. That's how you understand the mathematics. Well, and it's right in your eyes. I definitely understand it. It's living it. in your eyes. I definitely understand it. it I definitely that flag is in your eyes. Absolutely. Look and see it. It's right I there. See it. It's the all I what? See. see. Again, I, I added on how suffixes and prefixes change the, the base of the word. The base word is second. When you add the area, the word becomes something other than it is. It says coming after or less important than. See, that's what the area on top behind second made it. It made it less important than. That's why you have to be careful with certain words that we use. You know what I'm saying? When we add it on, especially when we apply it to supreme mathematics. You have to understand when we add in prefixes and suffixes on the word, does it change the concept and the meaning of what's being manifested or what's being brought into the light? That's what we have to be careful when we're dealing with wisdom. I agree. I agree, but let me show you how. All mathematics deal with the supreme, and the supreme means the most high. We don't deal with the arithmetic. We deal with the supreme That's mathematics. That's not arithmetic, though, God. That was basic information. But my point is, I agree with you. A, a definition of arithmetic. I know, but that's a, that's an uh, educational stage. But I agree with you. Yes. But let me show you how it don't necessarily diminish it. It gives the impression if people look at it that way as it diminishes. But all it's doing is talking about a natural order. So let's take this whole bill to another standard. All right. Let's deal with the process of giving or uh, bringing about life. We know first man must earn, woman must then bear the seed or bear this or cultivate it in her womb, right? Which is the secondary factor for the production of life. Still secondary. Natural it didn't order. diminish that child's existence, did it? Natural order. No. Natural order. It's, it's a process. So all that secondary phrase is talking about is the natural progression of how things travel is natural course. What are you trying to manifest here? Well, I'm not manifesting anything, God. Everybody what are you looking for? Do not, God. I'm saying I asked the question. For? I asked the question because I know a lot Has of brothers. Has your question be been answered before? Yes. So let's move Absolutely. on. Because I'm going to tell you something. You answered it. If we, can't, if we can't understand, all of us men here who say that we got knowledge, some of us may have understanding, some of us may not. Some of us may be still swimming 9,000 miles. Absolutely. But the point is we got to come to some agreement. You understand? If we understand each other and what we're talking about, then we move on. We let somebody else build. We don't keep on going over and over and over. You understand? Search for yourself. The understanding is in you. Like I said, some of us here might be complete. Just because you say you got knowledge of yourself don't mean you're complete. You got to go through all of those mathematics to get to be born. It's not something that happens overnight. And what happens, a person that is searching will always be looking and looking and asking and asking. The ones that understand, they already know because they can see it. It's born in themselves and they bring it out. That's why they say that word became what? Flesh. And live right among you. God in the flesh is us. You can't look no, you don't have to look any further. Not when you see the mirror. And you know what you're looking at. And you, right. better, you better be you able to look in the at, mirror. Yeah. You know what you're looking and at. I ain't yeah. talking about that mirror on I know the wall. What you're talking about. I'm talking about that mirror in you. You, that's the fact. See your mirror. Fact. And then you'll see yourself looking back at you. Every yourself. day. You Every might say, hey, Every day. nice to meet you. Nah, I've mean, been here all the time, but you've been bad. blind to your own self. Now you see me. Yeah, now I'm born. I become the what? The all. Because you see yourself.
इफ मेगा दिस